In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create agenda template in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, this line moves and then it will reveal the, the, the headline. You can see here I've put presentation agenda and this can be changed depending on your requirement. And when I click, it will show me the first agenda which is the introduction. When I click, it will show me the second services, the clients portfolio and contact uh, so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease these options and when i click it will show me the first services you can add your detailed text here then introduction part the clients part portfolio and the last is contact us so if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link I have used Office 2019 version to do this. If you are using the older version, then there should not be any problem. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and I'm going to cover the slide with the rectangle shapes. So go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle covering the full slide, shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill depending on your requirement you can choose any color of your choice i'm just going to choose this teal color something like this and then i'm going to insert one text box where i'm going to type agenda agenda i'm going to type in caps and then make this font as white and choose any font of your choice in this case i'm going to choose roboto and if you want you can make it bold and increase the size maybe 28 all right and if you would like to add one more like presentation or meeting or whatever you can add it at the top and then go to insert shapes i'm going to select one rectangle draw a rectangle something like this shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white and make sure that this is properly aligned in the center all right or if you don't know whether it's in the center or not you can just go to view enable the guides also so this is at, uh, exactly at the center if you want you can keep the guides or you can remove the guides so once this is done i'm going to add the content of the agenda so first go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key maybe this much size shape outline make it white and give the width as two quarters and shape fill you can use any dark gray color something like this all right just move it a little bit here and then i'm going to just drag this down so depending on the content you can add four five six depending on your requirement so i'm just going to hold the control shift key and just drag this one so this is second again hold the control shift key third fourth and fifth now you can see here the uh, the spaces between or the gap uh, between these uh, circles are not equal so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select by holding the shift key one by one and then go to the align distribute vertically so in this case all are having the equal spaces between these uh, oval shapes all right then what i'm going to do is i'm going to use one more shape the line shape to connect these uh, oval shape so go to insert shapes i'm going to choose the line shape and then you can see here i can just drag something like this and shape outline make it white and the weight i'm going to use the same two quarters press ctrl d to duplicate and then just drag this one connect this dot and this one connect here all right so something like this again press ctrl d you can see here it should look like this so when i click it should see both it's in green color all right the dots otherwise if it is not green color that means it has not been connected now it's connect this also now the last one i'm just going to click this one and yes so once this is done i'm going to insert the text box where i'm going to type the option 01 center align make it white font make the font same as roboto if you want make it bold or you can increase it to maybe 24 and then just put exactly in the center of this all right press ctrl d to duplicate 
bring it here put it in the center control D you can see here align it properly and this also so once this is done those this is one this is two three four and this is five the next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to group this one this two so I'm just selecting like this you can see here without this line so this is both the shapes press ctrl G to group it and here from this also like this also you can do it ctrl G or I can select like this and hold the shift key click here this way also you can do it whichever way which you feel easy you can just group it ctrl G to group it so once this is done let me just add the content here go to insert text box i'm going to add the title say this is about the introduction of the company and this one i'm going to make it as a white font again roboto introduction and you can increase the size maybe to 24 and put it exactly in the center hold the control shift key drag this down you can see here something like this in the center this also in the center all right and this also in the center so once this is you can just put maybe uh, like introduction here i have put like services or the solutions here you can talk about the clients i'm talking about the portfolio here and then you can talk about contact us so depending on your requirement you can just change these things so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a new slide here all right and let me just delete this part and then i'm going to select this background shape Control C, Control V to copy and then just bring this down here. So this is a, a kind of a theme I'm adding here. And then this introduction I'm going to copy, Control C, Control V paste and bring it here. So now you don't see this one here. So this one I need to just change the color to this one. So you can see here this is the introduction. You can add the details about the introduction press ctrl d then you can make this as two and then you can talk about the services then ctrl d to duplicate this is three you can talk about the clients and then press ctrl d this is four and i'm going to say about portfolio then control D I'm going to make this as five and this is contact us so this is one two three four and five so this is our main slide so once uh, you do this part you complete this part you can uh, do some basic animation to this so let's start the animation with this thing so i'm going to insert first of all bring this here i'm just moving this one here okay let it be this side and i'm going to insert one uh, rectangle exactly on the agenda shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to give the same color which is of background all right now we need to do the animation here so go to the animations enable the animation pane first of all i'm going to reveal this one so for this go to uh, click here actually uh, from this one and select the more exit effects and exit effects i'm going to choose the collapse click ok and collapse it should go towards left so you can see here you have to select left and double click this one timings you can make it maybe 0.3 all right and this one i'm going to add animation go to more motion paths and i'm going to choose the animation which is left select this one click ok so it goes like this click ok it should not go till that part so what i'm going to do is you can see here when i click this one 
I can just reduce the size here sorry let me just do it once again hold the shift key and it should come till here only and make sure that go to the shape format and bring to front all right and this one should happen with previous so go to the animations and just say with previous and this also i'm going to make it smooth and smooth start make it all zero timings i'm going to make it very fast and make this as 0.3 all right so now if i play it comes something like this so still this should not come here maybe it should stop somewhere here only let me just move it here and play so you can see here if i play it comes something like this all right you can see the how it works so once this is done i'm going to choose the animation for this add animations more entrance effects basic zoom click ok and double click this one timings again make it very fast and make it 0.3 all right and this one add animation more entrance effects and say uh, stretch click ok and stretch make it from left and this should happen with previous all right and this also you have to make it the same 0 0.3 seconds all right so once this is done and this should come here so add animation more entrance effects stretch click ok and here from top all right you can see here something like this and this also i'm going to make it 0.3 seconds why i'm doing that one because i want a quick animation fast animation all right so if you see here when i click it comes like this and then introduction this will come so likewise i need to just select this one and click on this part and only thing is this one i should make it after previous all right then again i'm selecting this one click on this and this one animation painter click on this so if i play now you can see a agenda introduction second then third fourth fifth same animation effects you can give what we have given at the top 